Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Council Investing. My name again is Emen Neifai, and I'm the best at what I do. What do I do best? I'm the best at driving the mission of Council Investing, which is making businesses across Africa profitable and sustainable. Uh, today, we are going to be looking at a topic which I think is very, very critical to all of us, especially those of you who are watching, because there has been this craze around entrepreneurship. And I want you to understand entrepreneurship so that you don't just jump into entrepreneurship and get burnt because there are critical things that must be in place before you can make any enterprise sustainable and profitable. Today I'll be talking on a topic that I've called titled Built by Strategic Vision and Capacity. Recently I went to see my mentor, who is also the board of um, ad chairman of board of advisors of, uh, of Council University, and I asked him, sir. You run one of the biggest pharmaceutical company in, in Nigeria. What is the secret to your success? He said two things. Capacity, knowing his capacity and setting a clear strategic, strategic vision for the company when he was starting. Now, what does this mean? And how does it af affect you? Now, I want to explain it starting with the story of something that happened to a group of people who followed the Israelites to move out of Egypt when they were moving out. Now, during the time the Israelites were in Egypt, they were the people who were the slave, and every other person was either working or, as a, as, or a free man. But at the point that the Israelites got the opportunity to move out, they said that a multitude of people followed them. Now, what these people believed was that since these Israelites are moving out of slavery, they are immediately moving into something very wonderful. The fact that immediately these people left Egypt, that they will move into a very wonderful country flowing immediately with milk and honey. And so this will, without considering the vision of where these people are going to, just joined along. And they failed to realize that they had just committed themselves to 40 years of wandering in the desert and most of them without water and without food. A lot of us are joined, entering into entrepreneurship with the same mindset. A lot of us are starting business with the same mindset. And that is why a lot of businesses in Africa are collapsing. How would your business survive if you don't have a clear strategic vision of where your business is going to? One of the things that my mentor told me was that when he started, the, one of the things he said to himself was that he was going to remain one of the top 10 pharmaceutical companies in Nigeria. Now, at every particular point, what he was always thinking in any planning he was making, he was asking himself, is this plan going to make us, uh, or make us become one of the top 10 pharmaceutical companies in Nigeria? I want to ask you now, the business you are into, what is your 5-10 years vision for that business? Have you sat down from day one to say, this is where I want to see this business in the next 10 years, next 20 years? Most people just start businesses because they feel that other people are successful in it. And because they feel other people are successful in it and they jump in, within 5 years, more than 90% of those businesses crash. That is why he said that the average lifespan of most businesses in Africa is 5 years. Because most of us jump into business without actually planning for that business we are going into. And in the long run, we find out that this business, there is nothing driving it. There is no focus of where this business is going to. Any idea that comes in, we take it. Any, any suggestion that comes in, we take it. And at the end of the way, we are more like a, a, an airplane without a pilot. An airplane without a pilot would definitely crash, no matter what you do to that, that plane. The same thing applies to you. If you have not taken out time to set a clear strategic vision for your business, there's no Jupiter, there's nothing you do that can make that business successful because there's no direction, there's no way that business is going to. A lot of businesses in Africa are more like the business, those multitudes that joined the Israelites when they are leaving Egypt. They say, okay, these people are going to somewhere successful. We believe they are going to into something good, so let's just join them. We believe that we're just going to inherit from what they are doing. And they don't sit down to ask themselves, what is our own vision for our life? Is our vision for our life aligned to where these people are going? For you to be able to end, go into new, any new venture, uh, assume any new enterprise, you must be very clear and sure that where these people is, where this thing is going to, is where I am going to. Any company you are joining, any business you are, you are starting will be based on this thing taking you to a particular destination. Our vision for Counselor University is to have trained 1 million African entrepreneurs by the year 2037. So we have set a long-term plan for ourselves. 
and anything that we are doing, any course that we are running, any training that we are doing, the first question we ask ourselves before starting that training is, is this training going to make a company sustainable and is it going to make an, a company profitable? Anything that is not going to make an organization profitable or sustainable, we don't go into it. And that has helped us to remain focused in what we are doing. And I believe it's because of that that organizations like Tony Elmel Foundation found us worthy to be one of the, of the 1,000 people they selected to partner with in 2016. And also in 2016, we believe that what, that was what made Diamond Bank BET program select us as one of their top 15 entrepreneurs. The same thing applies to you. Your vision has to be clear. You need to have a strategic vision for your organization so that any decision you are taking, any action you are taking has to be aligned with that strategic vision. It means that you have a clear strategic vision. Nobody can come to you and say, I think this is a wonderful idea. Because the first question you ask yourself is, is it aligned with our strategic vision and direction? And see one wonderful thing, because there was a time I, when I was in school, I was a member of Students' Union Government, and we would go to a lot of companies asking for sponsorship. And one thing that most of them would always tell us is that students are not in our core target market. Meaning that student organizations are not part of their strategic vision for growth of their company. And anything they give to a student organization will be a waste of their resources. The same applies to you. Anything, anywhere, channeling any resource must be something that is moving you one step further towards achieving your strategic vision for your organization. So I want you to sit down and set a clear vision and say, in the next 10 years, in the next 20 years, this is where we are going. For us as Cancelo University, what we have said is a 20 years plan. That is why we are not talking about 2027, we are talking about 2037. We are looking at the next 20 years, this is what we want to achieve in the next 20 years. The same applies to you. The next thing too, which my mentor told me was important in make, guaranteeing that a business will become successful is capacity. You must know what it takes to arrive at your strategic vision and you must know the capacity you have as at now. There's a question I always ask young people when they come to me with a business idea and their challenge is that we don't need have the money to finance this idea. Now, the first question I ask them is what I want to ask you now watching this video. Assuming whatever business you are in now, assuming I give you 10,000 Naira and ask you invest this 10,000 Naira solely in your business. Do you know the part of your business you're going to invest it in? A lot of people will say yes. Now, it's because as at now, your business and yourself have the capacity to absorb 10,000 Naira. As I ask you now, if I give you 100,000 Naira, do you know the part of your business that you can say, this is where I will channel it to in my business and it start becoming effective? Like for us now, if you give us 100,000, we immediately invest it in acquiring studio lighting, more, more studio lighting. For us, you say, okay, we know exactly where you can put 100,000 100, into the business. So you have a capacity to handle a project and business that can take 100,000. Now, if I ask you, if I give you 100 million, if I give you 1 million, do you know where to put it? So I don't put it anywhere else except within your business. A lot of people will know where to put 1 million. But then, if I ask you, if I give you 100 million now, do you know anywhere within your business that you can put 100 million in your business and not put it anywhere outside the business? As at now, a lot of people watching me cannot, I'm sure, will not know where exactly to fit in 100 million specifically into your business to make it profitable and make it grow. That is what is called capacity. And see the danger of it. If your capacity currently is at 5 million, is at 1 million, and somebody gives you 10 million, what you start to do is that you start to waste, not that it's not a deliberate stuff that you do, but you find yourself not being able to account for some money, you find yourself going to project until money starts to depreciate and gets to 1 million. And suddenly you find yourself, no, I do not tell yourself, now I need to really get serious because it's not as if the money is wasting. It's because the capacity you have is what it takes to handle one million. One of the things that my mentor told me was that when he started his business, he got to a stage where he realized that as if his sales was just going around. And said so the next thing he did was to enroll in a program in one of the top universities in Nigeria. And by that, he enrolled in a business management program. And when he came out, 
his business started to now from hundreds of millions and started to do billions of naira turnover. Because as at that time he has improved the capacity of his of his uh, himself and his business to be able to carry and manage billions of naira. If I ask you now, what is your capacity? You can judge by how you can really assess. If I have this amount, this is exactly where I'll put it, and you say this a perfect area. I'll put it in my business, and the business will grow. A lot of us have not taken our time to improve our capacity. And we are saying that all we need to grow our business is money. Just give me money and I'll build this business. I can promise you that if that money is given to you as you are currently, with the capacity you have, more than 80% of that money will be wasted. A lot of young people starting businesses are assuming that um, what they need to move forward is actually money. I can tell you that that is not really what you need. You know, in my former life, my first um, course is actually in pharmacy. And when I graduated, one of the first things I did was to set up a pharmaceutical company. But at that particular point, I did not realize the importance of capacity. So I took the money I had, I started the company, and it was doing well. It started growing, and it got to a stage where we were doing turnover. About 10 years ago, a turnover of about 30 million per year. And suddenly, what happened? I, it did not occur to me that that was the capacity of myself of what I could manage as at that time. And I felt I had what it takes to continue to grow that organization. And most importantly too, at that particular point, I had not set a clear strategic vision for my company that this is where we are headed to. All I know that we'll just bring in product, we'll market and we'll sell, collect money and bring in product again. There was no clear strategic vision for the business. And what happened? Because I like the capacity to make this thing grow, I added more weight, and what did the team do? Based on my limited capacity, it crushed me and business collapsed. A lot of you, if you are given more funds to run your business, what will happen is that that business, the weight of that fund will be so much on you that that business will collapse and everything will crash out. You know, it has been said that most lottery winners, more than 95% of all major lottery winners end up in poverty. And why do they do that? Because a sudden huge amount of money has been given unto them that have they not been developed, they have not developed the capacity to manage. And because they don't have the capacity to manage, a lot of them start to waste it. And when they start to waste it, what happens? They finally end up in a state whereby even the ones they have, they have also in, put it in, in what they are doing and suddenly everything disappears and they find themselves in bankruptcy. It's important for you in building your company now, for you to move from where you are to where you expect it to be, to start to develop your personal capacity and the capacity of your team. You know, a lot of time I meet young business people and I say, why are you not sending your people to, to trainings? Especially training like the ones who run at Castle University. They say, ah, is it not after we train these people, they will go. What you fail to realize is that your business is as strong as the capacity of your team. If you are the only one, it's more like having a building, a massive building or having one pillar supporting it. But if you have one massive building, no matter how strong that pillar is, if you share the weight of the pillar, the strength of the pillar among four other smaller pillars, that building can be better carried than just one big pillar because anything happens to that one, everything will collapse. But if, if you have like five or ten pillars supporting it, if anything happens to one, the other nine can actually still support it. That is why I advise you, make sure that every quarter, there is a training program that you send yourself to and you send your team to. Don't look at the cost. Even if you're looking at the cost, there are free programs that you can actually send yourself, your people to. Like there's a free program that we run at Council University, which you can also benefit from. These are things you need to do so that your business does not crash on you. And for a lot of people who are looking at their business, that this business is small, that we don't know what to do. I can guarantee you that the moment you start to develop your capacity, you find yourself attracting more wealth. You find yourself attracting more people who want to invest in your business because they can see with you, interacting with you, that this person has the capacity to actually grow. But if you are just looking at the way you are now, where you are now has been put on you because of your current capacity. And if you don't improve your capacity, there's no way, no prayer session you go, no miracle you do that will move you higher. It's your capacity that you need to work on. I hope that you have taken the critical point that we've said, mentioned in this um, talk to you. Every day we do a 10 minutes um, session like this that we share practical business ideas to help people like you grow their company and grow their organization. So tomorrow we'll be sharing on something else that is also critical to the growth of your business. So I invite you to come to Counseling University Facebook page or visit Counseling University YouTube page or visit www.counselinguniversity.com to watch the video for tomorrow and other previous sessions. 
and also have courses that we have designed for people like you, whereby as you take these courses, most of them are for like 30 to 40, 60 days, as you're taking it, we're also calling you to make sure that the things you're actually implementing are building your personal capacity and we work with you, we assign a mentor to you that will help your business grow. And also for those of you who are in Lagos, we run a monthly program, end of the month program, whereby we bring a group of business people together and we actually focus on their various businesses to help them see the loopholes in their business and show them the area to take out the, the charts on their business so that that business could grow. The same applies to you. We know you can transform your business if you come to us. Once again, I want to say thank you for listening to us at Cancer University.